This is part 131 of SQL Server tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to identify object dependencies in SQL Server using SQL Server Management Studio. Let's understand this with an example. Here, I've got some SQL script which creates two tables, two stored procedures, a view, and a function. The first table is the departments table. This table is not dependent on any other database object. The second table is the employees table. Notice this table has got department ID column, which is a foreign key column referencing ID column from the departments table. That means this employees table is dependent on departments table. And then we have the stored procedure, which depends on employees table. And then we have another stored procedure that depends on both the tables, employees and departments. And then this view depends just on the departments table. And finally, this table valued function depends on both the tables, employees and departments. Now let's see what's going to happen when we delete some of these objects. Now we know that this employees table is dependent on departments table. Now let's see what's going to happen when we try to delete departments table. Look at that, we get an error message when it tried to drop that table. And look at what the error message says. It says, could not drop object dbo.departments because it is referenced by a foreign key constraint. So there is a foreign key constraint which is preventing, you know, from this departments table from being deleted. Okay, and that's a good thing. Now we also know that these two stored procedures and this table valued function, all of these three objects depend on employees table. Now let's see what's going to happen when we try to delete the employees table. Let's see if we get a similar error message. Look at this, when I click OK, the employees table is deleted without any warning or message. Now, what do you think is going to happen for the two stored procedures and the table valued function that depend on employees table? They are going to break. Look at this. When I try to execute this stored procedure, we get an error message saying invalid object name employees. And why do you think we get that error? Because when it tries to execute this stored procedure, it's trying to retrieve data from employees table. SQL Server couldn't find it. So we get the error message invalid object name employees. And the same is going to happen when we try to execute this stored procedure, which also depends on employees table. Notice we get the same error. And we are going to get the same error if we try to retrieve data using this function. Okay, so it's very important to identify these object dependencies when you intend to modify or delete an object upon which other objects depend. Otherwise, you may risk breaking the existing functionality. And it's very easy to identify object dependencies using SQL Server Management Studio. Now let's go ahead and create this employees table again. Let's refresh this folder just to make sure we have our employees table back. Now let's say we want to identify what are all the objects that depend on employees table because I am intending to delete that table. Now we can simply right click on that and then select this view dependencies option from the context menu. So this object dependencies window will show you all the objects that depend on employees table. Notice this radio button is selected objects that depend on employees. So we have two stored procedures and a function depending on employees table. Now I know that if I delete the employees table, these three objects are going to fail. So now I can make a better decision. And we can also find in our the objects on which employees table depend. We know that employees table has got department ID foreign key column, which references the ID column from the department's table. That means employees table is dependent on department's table. Similarly, we can find you know, the dependencies of department's table. So these are the objects that depend on department's table. We have this employees table depending on departments and a view depending on departments. And then when we expand the plus sign next to the employees table, we can see all the other objects that depend on the employees table. Objects on which departments depends. Okay, we don't have any other object, you know, on which departments depends. So we don't see anything there. 
Similarly, if you want to find out what are all the dependencies of this stored procedure, simply right click on that, select view dependencies. In our objects that depend on this stored procedure, we don't have any other objects that depend on this stored procedure. Now we can find out objects on which this stored procedure depends. So this stored procedure depends on employees table and that's what we see there. And when we expand employees, we can see the objects on which employees table depend on. So it's very important identifying object dependencies. Otherwise, you may risk breaking the functionality when you modify or delete an object if other objects depend on that. There are several other ways also of finding these object dependencies in SQL Server, which we will discuss in our next video. Thank you for listening and have a great day.